Hi, my name is Tia Wong and I'm a clinical anatomy research fellow here and I come from Hong Kong. And that is very important picture of me because that is my first time of dissection. That is my life red. The heart is still beating, still warm. And after that, I went to um, University of Washington get my bachelor degree in biology. And under my under the suggestion of my professor, I come to SSF. Introduction of my presentation, I will start with the source muscle and femoral nerve introduction. Source muscle is the major flexor of hip joint. It, the source major composed has a proximal attachment of T12 to L5, including um, intervertebral disc, and it also has a major uh, source minor. And in this area, it will fuse with the iliacus muscle tendon and go through the inguinal ligament and attach to lesser trochanter of the femur. Femoral nerve, it usually consists of L2 to L5 contribution. It forms a common trunk and goes in between iliacus muscle and psoas major. Then it goes through under the inguinal ligament and innervate the medial and anterior and medial of thigh and medial of the leg. This is the case presentation. So the figure A, it has all the nerve and locations um, of the split and variant muscle. In picture B, it has an outlined variant muscle. And picture C, we cut the variant muscle and the psoas major to show the course of the split of femoral nerve. So this is a 71 years old female cadaver. A variant muscle on the left side was observed to split the femoral nerve into multiple parts. This muscle originated from the anterior medial surface of the quadratus lumborum and run distally to fuse with the tendon of the source major at the level of inguinal ligament. So it arose from here. Um, this is the better picture of that. So it arose from the muscle here and has attachment to the muscle uh, source major. And you can see it go through here, split the femoral nerve into one, two, three, and four parts. The first branch innervate the iliacus, the second and third fuse um, before the inguinal ligament, I mean reunited, sorry. And the fourth branch seems like go along with the lateral femoral cutaneous area. Discussion section, I will discuss um, variant source muscle, split femoral nerve and clinical consideration and embry embryology. Clarkson and Rainey suggested and proposed there's four psoas muscle variants. First of all is psoas major, he called it psoas magnus. The second one is psoas parvus, it's representing psoas minor. And the th third one is psoas tertius, it representing there is an extra muscle slip originated from in the 12th rib and contribute to the psoas major. The fourth one is psoas quartus, which is our case. It has an extra muscle slip originated from the uh, quadratus lumborum to the psoas muscle, psoas major. Dr. Tubbs has reported a case with the psoas quartus. It has an extra muscle slip from the quadratus lumborum as shown here and inserted here. That is the femoral nerve. However, there's no split in this case of the femoral nerve. Khalid also reported a case of psoas ter 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 tertius, and it split the femoral nerve as shown here, and it reunited before the inguinal ligament. Bifurcation into the fall of femoral nerve is very rare, as shown here. During our research and to our knowledge, there is no case reported uh, femoral nerve split into four. Clinical consideration. 
Variation of femoral nerve and psoas muscle may affect surgical approach to the region, such as lateral trans psoas, interbody fusion, ex leaf, lumbar plexus blockade, femoral artery manipulation for angiograph, or other pelvic region procedures. Minimal knowledge of such anatomical variation can result in femoral nerve compression or damage, as well as iliacus compartment syndrome due to hematoma surrounding um, hematoma of surrounding muscles. In our present case, the split femoral nerve can be compressed by such a muscle variant, and a knowledge of this anatomical variation might also explain pain in the hip and thigh area due to uh, an incomplete blockade of femoral nerve. Embryology. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. There are many possible explanations of variation described here. For example, variation in the timing of motor and sensory axon growth, cell signaling, and muscle apoptosis could pl all play a role. During week four of the fertilization, spinal nerve extend out to myotomes and develop association with them. At week five, myotomes will separate into two divisions, epimeres and hypomeres. Hypomeres extend into elongating limbs. During this elongation, muscle will bring associated nerve from the torso into the limb buds. Since motor axons develop and enter into the limb first, sensory axons enter into the limb later based on the path of motor axons. Therefore, there is a chance for muscle slip to grow over the muscle motor axons, sorry, and for sensory axons to try to grow around the muscle slip. As a result, in our case, the femoral nerve can be divided into several parts. Additionally, the addition attachment of the source muscle may have originated from different in cell signaling during development of the thoracic and lumbar myotomes. That could also, uh, due to the, for example, rotation or just broad cell signaling region. That is just a theory. It's also possible that this addition muscle slip did not go through apoptosis at the end of development, or additional muscle slip might have failed to establish during development. So conclusion, this is the first report of this combination. So I hope this report can improve patient's life quality by providing um, such a variance for practitioner understanding more about this anatomical variation of femoral nerve and psoas. Thank you.